Hey, Julie Burke here, founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I'm coming to you live from my hotel room uh, in LA. Um, I'm out here for a, uh, a marketing workshop. I'm part, of the, uh, I'm part of the community with Elite Marketing Pro. It's a great community. Uh, we, help, um, we help network marketers and home-based business entrepreneurs bring their business online because let's face it, you guys, um, when you want to build an online business, there is so much to know, there's so much to learn, and there's a lot of moving parts. Um, and so that's what Elite Marketing Pro teaches. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm normally not live on a Saturday morning, um, and I think it's 9 o'clock here in L.A., and I do have to run. But I wanted to pop in really quick because yesterday I had um, a lot of breakthroughs. Yeah, as you guys are popping on, just... And I know you're going to be watching the replay, uh, I'm sure. So if you are watching the replay, just drop like a hashtag replay so I could say hello later. But also if you're new to who I am, um, I want you to drop me a one because I definitely want to send you a free gift and to say hello. Um, but <clears throat> if you don't know who I am, I have been in the network marketing space now for five years. I absolutely love the profession of network marketing and all it can be provide. However, it's not, um, it, it's, it's not hard network marketing, but it's not also easy, right? And so what I do is I, I give tips and trainings um, to network marketers to help them to really maximize and build their business and take it uh, online because that's how I built a majority of my network marketing business was through social media okay um, and so if you like that then you definitely want to click somewhere on my page click like and follow me because I've now done I think about 240 ish I think of these Facebook live <laughs> trainings um, so there's a lot of content on this page all right with that being said I'm at this workshop and it's absolutely amazing um, because it takes business owners and it, it really breaks you out of your shell, right? It, they, what they do is they, they lift us up and sometimes as, as business owners, um, we, uh, we're not asked to go deep and ask ourselves questions, right? Like, so what I mean by that is, and sorry, my arm is like getting... Um, tired hair. I forgot my selfie stick, so I'm going to kind of just like lean forward if you guys don't mind, okay? Uh, can you guys hear me okay too? Can you give me a thumbs up if you could hear me all right? Just so I know. But basically, when we get started in business, I know for me with network marketing, um, I came in, I love the product, I did see the opportunity right away. I know I'm not normal. <laughs> Most people come in because they fall in love with the product, right? And um, thank you for the, the thumbs up. Okay, I, they come in for the product, but they're not really taught how to build a business, right? Like they're not taught about how to build a solid foundation. And not just that, how to strengthen the mindset muscle because we're challenged so like so often um, with people telling us no, with having rejection, with having fear. Um, so what happens is most m most marketers, most network marketers, like they quit, right? Most people in MLM, they quit because they don't like... Um, they don't like chasing friends and family, right? That's why I teach online strategies. However, I wanna kind of focus on the mindset piece just for real quick because um, I know for me when I got started in business, like I didn't ask myself these questions and I'm gonna tell you the three critical questions that you wanna ask yourselves. And then today, your homework is to sit down and truly think about it, you guys, because I did this exercise yesterday and I had like, a lot of breakthroughs. I actually, I actually started crying. Like I don't, I don't care. I'll tell you guys. Like I cried, right? Because um, when you start to really paint out your vision, like I have a vision board. Okay, if you guys have a vision board, drop me it. Drop me a two. Like if you have a vision board, drop me a two. And if you've written out like your smart goals, drop me a two. Okay, because I want to hear from you. I want to know because so often, like I, I do have a vision board, but sometimes I'll sit down and be like, oh, I need to redo my goals. And then what happens? Uh, life, guys, life gets busy, and Julie's goals don't get written out. Right. So because I'm at this workshop. And I'm surrounded by all these amazing entrepreneurs. We are forced to actually do this exercise. And a lot came through for me because what they did is they, they dug into it and made me go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with my answers. And the deeper we go, the more emotion that there is, okay? The more emotion we attach to it. And so um, we have like 
these ideas and we have these dreams, but yet they're often um, wrapped in like what we call, what they call like a cloud of opportunity, okay? Because sometimes your, your, your dreams, your ideas, and your vision can get a bit hazy, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? Just drop me and ask if it does. Um, and why? Well, because one main thing is we have shiny object syndrome, okay? Now, I am fully guilty of shiny object syndrome, so there's no finger pointing here. If you have shiny object syndrome, let me hear from you. Um, and often we get distracted. And then we think like, oh, well, I want to be the top of my company. Or I want to be making 10000 a month or even 5000 a month or even 1000 a month. Like I'll be happy when I reach that goal. Or, you know, um, whatever it is for you. And then like hustle. Like you start to hustle. You start to grind. You start getting the rejections. You start dealing with all of that, right? And you think about, is this really worth it? Is what I'm doing really, really worth it? Okay. And you maybe like reach a goal. Like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but this has definitely happened to me. Like you, you hustle, you hustle, you reach that goal, you get to that goal. And then you're like sitting there, like, shouldn't I be having more of an emotion? Like, shouldn't I be happier because I reached this goal? What was all that hustle for? Because this doesn't feel, um, this doesn't feel any different than when I was in the hustle. Okay, I don't know if that has ever happened to you, but there have been times where I've set goals and I've met the goals, which is great, but then I get there and I'm like, okay, what's next? What's next? Like, I didn't even allow myself to take in, like, have an opportunity to really soak it that in, okay? So here's the three critical questions, and I really want you to do this work because I feel like it was... Um, it really helped me to, to break through some barriers yesterday, okay? So if you are feeling a bit stuck, if you are feeling a bit confused, um, maybe these are the questions that you need to really sit down and answer to gain more clarity, okay? So one is, um, what is it that you really want? Okay, so that's like a loaded question for me because I'm like, well, I want to be happy. Okay, well, what does that mean? What does that look like? How does that, how does that feel to you? Like, what do you want to wake up and do every morning like how do you want the feeling to be right so that's what i'm saying don't just say i want to be happy <laughs> or i want to be successful like you really have to draw it out all right the second question so that was what is it that you really want the second one is <clears throat> where am i at in relative to the target okay so again how close are you to hitting that and then number three is um who do i have to become in order to get there. And that too, I feel like is, you guys, again, if you're just popping in, I don't have my selfie stick, like my arm is killing me right now. So I'm sorry, it's a bit shaky. Um, but that one, who do I have to become in order to get there? Like that could be a bit scary, okay? So those are the three questions that I challenge you to answer today because I went through the exercise and I'm telling you right now, um, it was pretty powerful. It was really, pretty powerful because I never fully allowed myself to go there. So I'm asking you today to go there. Um, ask yourself these three critical questions because I feel like if you do get a more clear vision on what it is that you truly want, you might realize like you're hustling for the wrong reason or you're hustling to the wrong dream. Okay. Um, so I did the work and now I'm asking you to do the work. And if you do, do the work. I would love for you to either message me or I'd love for you to come back to this and just comment like done, right? Like done, like you did it. And um, again, I don't want you to just surface level answer these questions. I want you to go deep, like draw out your vision. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What does it feel like? What are you doing? Are you with your children? Um, what are you doing with your children every single day? Like if you did reach the goal that you're looking to achieve, what, how is it going to feel to you, right? So before you go through the hustle, get clear, all right? So anyways, you guys, um, that's my message for you today. I know I, I've been uh, a little bit absent um, due to traveling and this workshop because it's, it's literally all day, all the way tonight, but uh, I just wanted to pop on. If you found value, please share this and um, 
If you are looking to grow your network marketing business, I have a, a great product. It's called Silent Recruiting Method. If you haven't heard of it and you want to check that out, uh, just drop me a four in the comment section and we'll make sure to uh, send that to you because it's all about you know, strengthening your mindset, how to uh, recruit effortlessly, you know, how to prospect and recruit effortlessly uh, with saying less because <laughs> often we can verbal vomit all over everybody. I, I know that I did it in the beginning, guilty. I will tell you right now, uh, when I learned the strategy that I teach in, in this course, it changed my business. Um, I also go through social media marketing in there, how to brand, how to attract, how to monetize that. I talk about um, overcoming objections. I talk about presenting, closing, team building, duplication, how to create a system. Um, it was uh, a pretty amazing course. I ran it live and um, and you get all the, the recordings as well. I had amazing guests, my wonderful, uh, amazing friend, John Melton, um, Bob Heilig, and um, one of my great friends, she's a mindset coach. So, because we talk about mindset as well in this course, because I feel that's the, actually module number one. I feel like that is the number one thing that is lacking for most entrepreneurs. I think that that's 80%, almost 90% of the battle. Okay. So, listen, if you want to check that out, like I said, just drop me a four. I'm not going to drop the link here. I will send you a message with the link. Um, but everyone, you guys be blessed. I do have to run. I got to get to the workshop. And as always, like I said, be blessed. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.